Good evening from sunny Phuket, Thailand. Another beautiful day here in Phuket. This is another in my series of uh, accidental improvement videos. Started uh, about the middle of last week. Going to go out pretty far today. So I hope you get something from this. Uh, I try to learn something from every hold I, I do. I tape these for myself as much as for you. I, uh, if you are curious, uh, I put that nose clip on pretty tight, tight enough, uh, tight to the point of discomfort. Five quick purge breaths. Big, big, big full breath. And off we go. You might have also seen a pack there. Uh, uh, don't do those very often. Don't see them very often. Uh, never have quite been able to get comfortable doing them. Uh, so far I've been able to go out to seven without them. Now, this one I can't see help me any particularly. I already have pretty, pretty full breath. Anyway. Cruising right along. See me check my clock there. Uh, I checked the watch uh, just to make sure I turned the thing on, just to make sure I started. Uh, I have forgotten that a couple times, and that's kind of embarrassing. So that's why I did that. This part of the hold, nothing uh, at all going on. Uh, just uh, trying to get into another zone. <coughs> Excuse me. Breathe up today was uh, consistent with the last five days. Uh, five minutes of rest, normal tidal breathing, five purge breaths, initial 320 hold, uh, 320 rest period, normal tidal breathing, five purge breaths, four minute hold, 10 minutes of in two hold, four out two, five purge breaths, five minute hold. Uh, the addition of this five minute hold is a, a new thing, uh, by the way. Uh, and I think it makes the subsequent 5.30 hold much easier. And after the 5 minute hold, 10 minutes of in 2 hold, 4 out 2, then 5 purge breaths, then the 5.30 hold. Uh, this hold after this breathe up is very easy. Uh, very easy. Just cruise right on into it. And then 10 minutes of in 2 hold, 4 out 2, then uh, uh, 5 purge breaths, and then this final hold. Uh, that, and that's the change I made uh, in this last week is to the breathe up. Uh, went from doing uh, 3, 330, 4, 15, 5, 30, final hold, to now I'm doing a 3, 15, 4, 5, 5, 30, and then a final hold. All uh, to about the same level of difficulty, except the final hold, of course. Now uh, that's kind of a culmination of the last 10 months of training and an overall effort to reduce the energy expenditure during breathe up. Uh, both in the breathing, uh, the breathing uh, portion of it and in also the whole portion of it. I started that about 10, min 10 months ago. Uh, initially by reducing my initial hold from 3.30 to 2.30. Uh, increasing the, and increasing the number of holds in, in my breathe up. As time has progressed, those initial holds have gone from 2.30 to 2.45 to 3, now 3.15 or thereabouts. Uh, last month I eliminated two periods of rapid shallow breathing before my last two holds. Uh, that helped me a little bit uh, in reducing the bore effect at the end of the hold, I think, and giving me more usable oxygen at the end. And then, of course, last week, uh, the changes which I mentioned earlier. Uh, those changes have had a couple of effects. So one is it's improved uh, generally, but not 100% of the time, my oxygen saturation at the, at the end of the holds. And it's also made the holds much easier. Uh, and I'll take that any way I can get it. And that's been a consistent change every uh, across the board and since I made this change, uh, all the holes, including the warm-up holes, have been easier.
I don't understand exactly why, but that's just the way it is. Now, one thing I try to do uh, consistently is to push the period, the point of time at which I start pushing the air from my upper lung and my lower lung out as far as possible. Before last week, that uh, would have started around the 4:30 to 4:45 point on the final hole. After this uh, week's changes, I was able to push that out to the 5:45 uh, point. Uh, you'll see today I didn't do, do that. Uh, the reason I didn't do that was not due to conditions or anything like that. Uh, it was a decision I made, uh, and I wanted to do it in order to establish a good rhythm before the six-minute point. Uh, coming up on the five-minute point, they have a good solid 92% oxygen saturation at five minutes. Anyway, all these changes uh, serve to make uh, this final hold much, much easier, and you'll see that today. Uh, I'm going to start pushing air uh, right now into my lower lung from my upper lung. Um, this is a measure I do, as I've said before, to reduce uh, discomfort. And I started early today to uh, get into a good rhythm before the six minute point. I want to cruise past six minutes. And it seems to work pretty well. Uh, six minutes is so easy that uh, there's no difficulty in, in mustering, <coughs> excuse me, mustering the motivation to get past it. So uh, I'm not surprised anymore that it's so easy. So now I just keep going. You see me uh, here at the six-minute point. We have 80% pulse, uh, pulse oximeter reading at the six-minute point. Uh, I'm going to pass gas here pretty soon. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, not much I can do about it. Sorry there. And there you go. My contribution to uh, global warming. Cruise right into 630 at 76% uh, oxygen saturation. Good strong numbers. Can get a good view of the uh, pulse oximeter in the last uh, 30 seconds of this hold. See a good uh, even uh, pulse wave on the bottom of that. Cruising into seven minutes, no difficulty whatsoever. You, know, you can see I'm not under any duress right now, just kind of doing my thing. See 75% at seven minutes, That's and 40 beats per minute. Good service protocol. Rockin' and rollin'. Rockin' and rollin'. Uh, seven on one hold today. I didn't get a look at any of the oxygen. Excuse me. The oxygen saturations uh, today, but uh, an easy seven minutes uh, and one second. About. Uh, I'll retime it later, make sure I got a good time on it. Uh, hold, hold, easy, no problem. Probably the easiest hold to seven I've ever done. Cruise past uh, 630, uh, looking to uh, get past the woman's American record. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sorry, girls. Uh, that's a guy thing, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just like going past that one. And then uh, cruise right in on the seven minutes. Uh, no difficulty whatsoever. Complete control. Rock solid. Uh, I'll sign off right now and get you some more information on the turnaround. And uh, again, happy holidays.